Hello guys and welcome to Base Watches. There is no shortage of watches out there for the right hand part of our wonderful watch loving community, but sometimes for the lefties out there, the search is a bit more challenging. These timepieces are perhaps not always designed with the left hand user in mind, but instead with the intention of extra watch protection. These pieces are few and far between, and today we look at the four best pieces in this category. So without further ado, let's get started. The Monaco started up its engine for the first time many decades ago, and in this re-edition the vintage racer looks to cross the finish line in style yet again. The case is a square 39mm by 39mm finely brushed stainless steel with some polished trappings here and there. The steel screw crown and steel push buttons that operate the chronograph are pristinely polished to contrast the brushed case. The crown sits at 9 o'clock and also has the raised hero logo on top. There is a sapphire crystal protecting your view of the exquisitely designed dial and also a sapphire on the case back so that you can have a look into the pioneering caliber 11 movement, the first water-resistant square case and the first automatic chronograph. The caliber 11 is Swiss made, runs at 28,800 vibrations per hour and has an incredible 59 rubies protecting this piece for a long time to come. The dial is matte blue with a minute chronograph counter at 9 o'clock and the running second counter at 3 o'clock. The indexes are placed horizontally which gives a look that matches the square aesthetic of the piece. There are luminous dots around the dial at every hour, as well as on the red marked watch hands. The chronograph second hand is completely marked in red. The black calfskin strap finishes off the vintage look as expected, and it is closed by a steel folding clasp. The Monaco isn't going to be cheap to get your hands on, but you would be getting one of the most iconic pieces on the market. It also doesn't hurt that it is a genuinely high-quality timepiece. The Tudor Pelagos isn't new to the watch world, what would be commonly known with the crown on the right-hand side. The design team has decided to introduce the watch with the left-hand crown so that they can appeal to their left-handed customer base and at the same time will appeal to the more functional divers who are right-handed. The case is 42 millimeters and made out of titanium. Titanium is comparatively rare in watches and this lightweight but tough-as-nails metal is the sign of a watch that is made to be used. The satin finish on the case gives that soft touch to an otherwise rugged exterior. The coin edge bezel is unidirectional with a ceramic disc and a beige luminous coating on it. There is a sleek pointed guard for the screw down crown and a helium released valve at 3 o'clock. The hour markers on the black dial and minute markers on the chapter ring create a textured three dimensional look on the dial, which is accentuated by the grainy matte style of the dial itself. The date window, displayed in red, is at 3 o'clock and there are some smart snowflake hands with a decent blue loom lighting your way. The bracelet features the uniquely Tudor clasp, but also includes a rubber strap if you don't like the stainless steel bracelet. The self-winding mechanical movement has a bi-directional rotor system with a huge 70-hour power reserve. The 500 meters waterproof rating means that you would be able to wear this timepiece pretty much everywhere. This timepiece has military precision written all over it, so it should come as no surprise that tactical team members were consulted in the design process. The German engineering influence is evident in the overall shape and style. The matte black dial has a defined and cut appearance with excellent readability. At 3 and 9 o'clock are two line markers dividing the dial in two, with the rest of the indexes being large white Arabic numerals. The watch hands and Arabic numerals are coated with superluminova for crisp, quick time reading. The sapphire crystal is 4 mm thick and coated with anti-reflective layer which keeps the view of the dial clear at all times. The combination of high-grade titanium and a quality crystal means that there are no blemishes I have picked up, keeping in mind that I am not quite using it for its true purpose. The case is manufactured using grade 5 titanium and sits 44 mm in size and 14 mm thick. The crown is at 8 o'clock and has a guard for some extra protection. The NATO strap I am sure will keep well for rugged and regular use. The price point for this timepiece is extremely competitive, and if you have a larger wrist it would be good to spend some time learning more about the Vortex. As if there wasn't enough on offer here the EDA 2824 is driving this piece, so over and above the German design you have reliable Swiss movement in the background keeping your time accurately. The Sin Pilot is an undecorated rugged pilot's watch. The matte black dial is plain and decorated only with the SIN logo at the top and the R print at the bottom. The minute watch hand is siren style with the hour hand more closely resembling a sword hand. The date window is placed between the 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock. 
The R stamp refers to the dehumidifying technology that keeps the piece from fogging up to maintain pristine visibility. There is also strong magnetic field protection to keep the piece as accurate as possible regardless of varying degrees of magnetism. The bezel has a ratcheting functionality and a countdown timer function counting from 60 downwards. There is a sapphire crystal placed on the top of this piece, which comes together with the rest to make this piece pressure resistant to 20 bar. The case is bead blasted and the back is screwed down to give this left-handed pilot watch a water-resistant rating of 200 meters. The case back is also nickel-free which assists in avoiding possible allergies or skin irritations. At 41 millimeters, the sin is a perfect fit to most wrists and the black leather strap gives it a classic look. The Favor Eda 2824 mechanical movement is powering this piece. There are 25 joules and it runs at 28,800 vibrations per hour, making this piece adept at keeping accurate time. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Base Watches for more captivating content about the world of horology. And if any of the featured watches caught your eye, be sure to check the links in the description for more information. Stay tuned to Base Watches for future videos where we continue to showcase the best watches from around the world. Until next time, keep ticking and stay stylish with base watches. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.